Adobe Spark has a page tool that allows you to design beautiful gliding online content like this. This video will give you a quick tour of its features since some like photo grids and glide shows might be new to you. To begin, go to spark.adobe.com and choose sign in with Google. But make sure you choose the enterprise ID option since Jeffco pays for an upgraded version of Adobe with lots more bells and whistles. Once logged in, click the blue plus and choose web page. Your finished product will scroll from top to bottom like this. So you will build from the top to the bottom. First, add a title so you have some text. But before you add much else, click the themes button and choose a style that you like. Next, I'm going to add a background to replace this boring gray one. Click the plus and choose photo. If you logged in with the enterprise ID option, you have access to thousands of stock photos for free. Just choose find free photos and search by keyword. After you found a photo that you like, you can click on the photo itself to adjust its focal point. Now I'll scroll down to add some more content. These are all of the elements that I can add. To begin, I will add in some text. This is another one of those tools that does not have accents built into it, but they copy in beautifully from Google Docs. So use Google Docs if you are writing in another language and copy and paste your writing over to Adobe. If you need to make text larger, you can make it one of the two heading styles. These pluses will not be visible to others when they are viewing my project. They are here for me so that I can easily add elements before and after other elements. Next, I think I will use a photo grid so I can include several pictures to illustrate the problem of ocean pollution. And I will search for and select several different pictures. If you only need one picture, there's no need for you to use this photo grid tool. This is just one option that can add a lot of visual emphasis and nicely organize multiple photos. Something like the split layout option is better if you are focusing on just one or two pictures because split layout lets you put a picture on one side and text on the other. Finally, let me show you what a glide show is since it's a pretty unique feature. A glide show will show a series of pictures and text in succession. It's very good for illustrating steps in a process or perhaps highlighting various facts individually or showing multiple solutions in a series. To begin, I will choose three pictures that align with the solutions I'm proposing. It doesn't have to be three. You can have as many as you like, but I have three. I don't like any of the pictures of reusable straws that come up when I search. So instead of just using Adobe's free stock photos, I can also upload pictures. Here are several that I saved to my computer from Google Images. After you have selected the photos that will be included in the Glide Show, you will be given the chance to add the accompanying text or media that glides over them. If you need to edit your Glide Show, for instance, this picture of mine that I chose is very blurry. You just need to click on one of the pictures and choose edit photos. Then you can replace or add photos as needed. That looks a lot better. Buttons add links to other websites. And the video button obviously lets you add in a YouTube or other video, but these might not be tools that you need for this project. For the most part, mix text and use the various image tools to clearly and powerfully convey your message. Spark is auto-saving as you go, and when you are ready to turn it in, you just need to click the share button and then choose publish and share link. This link here is what you're going to want to turn into your teacher. It will take anyone who clicks on it to a beautiful full screen view of your project. Looks great, but if you need to make any changes, you will find your project on your Adobe Spark dashboard to be listed on your projects page and most likely under recent projects. If you do make changes, it's really important that you republish those or those changes would not be visible to others even if they already had your link. So that was a very quick tour of Adobe Spark Pages. If you have any additional questions, please let me know.